Budget, December 1965. December 1965, for a new budget. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and friends I haven't met yet, when I was five years old, I lived in upstate New York. Christmas time was coming, and my family was going to get the tree. Being five years old, I was finally allowed to go on that trip. I was so excited, I was singing jingle bells in the back seat and jingling all the way on the way. And then I stopped jingling as we went past the first Christmas tree lot. And I really stopped bouncing when we went past the second. And the third, my dad went past all the Christmas tree lots. Daddy, where are we going? Oh, don't worry about it. We're going to go cut out a tree, just like I did when I was young. Oh, like they did in the olden days. <laughs> we went up this road into the mountains. Well, hills compared to what we have here. And we turned down to a gravel road, and then a dirt road that kept getting more narrow and twisting and turning as it went. And finally, I recognized it. Daddy, what are we doing on the state's forest? I pay taxes, I can be here. No, you said that sign said no entry. No. <laughs> it's okay, it's just right here up behind the bend. My dad was in trouble. He was going to be on Santa's naughty list. I'm sure lying is bad, but when you lie about a Christmas tree, that's even worse. <laughs> well, he pulled over and parked. And I said, no, I'm going to stay on Santa's good list. And off he went to get the tree with my brother. I fell asleep like any five-year-old. And when I woke up, it was dark because snow had fallen. Lots and lots of snow had fallen. And I started to worry, would Daddy be able to find me? The snow is white, so is our car. Well, he did. Scared the heebie-jeebies out of me when he knocked on the window. He wiped away all the snow, put this massive Douglas fir on top. It was so big, half of it hung that way and half of it hung the other way. You can figure out the math yourself. <laughs> My dad tried going forward, but he couldn't. That part of the path had never been plowed. So we went backwards. My brother and I went on the floor. We hung on to each other for the first time in our lives. <laughs> we knew we were going to die! My dad said, shut up. I haven't even gone two feet yet. <laughs> As we went backwards and backwards, winding this way and that, we lost traction. The chains weren't working. We started speeding down one time off the road, and we were perched precariously over a pinnacle. <coughs> we finally got back on the road, went back, and met. My brother looked out the front window. He stared. He goes, Daddy, avalanche! <laughs> sure enough. Dad said, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And he pulled off to the side of the road, using the tree as a canopy. The avalanche went <laughs> right over us, and we were saved. We were alive. We were headed home. So we turned around to go forward now, head home. We kissed the snow when we got on, out of our car and we said to Mom, we did it, we survived the avalanche and we got this big tree and my mom goes, what tree? <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> the avalanche must have pity on it and taken it with it. <laughs> that was the first year we bought our fake tree. <laughs> Later, we did see it again. The White House had stolen it for the tree lighting ceremony down in D.C. <laughs> 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 <laughs>